Hello. 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 Hi, today I want to talk about one of my favorite cashback apps, Checkout 51. If you haven't heard of it, you can go into your app store and download it onto your phone. When you sign up, you'll need an email address and your address just because they'll need to send you a check. Once you hit $20 in cash back, you can request a check back and they will send it to you. I have used this one. I have gotten checks back from them, so it's legit. Don't worry. I try to wait until there's enough money in my account to pay for a grocery shopping trip, so $100 to $150. Then I'll ask for the check back, I'll deposit it, and use that for groceries that week. There are lots of different cashback apps out there. I'm going to talk about Checkout 51 today and another one that I use in my next video. I want to talk about these ones because I personally use them and I like them. Only buy things that you're going to buy anyways and then get cash back. That's how you save money. Don't buy things that you don't need or that you won't use just because you're getting some money back. So just remember that. Try not to get too excited to save money. Just buy what you need for your family. The other thing is that you can get more than one account for your family. So I have an account for myself and I have one for my husband. Anyone over the age of 18 is eligible for an account. You cannot get one for your little kids, even though it would be nice. If there's a great deal that week, then I can get some and claim it for myself and then claim some for my husband as well. Um, but you do want to pay attention to your offers before you go in. My account will often have different offers than what my husband has. So the same products, but different amounts back. So for instance, sometimes I will get $2 on diapers back and my husband's account will only get 75 cents. I have not figured out a rhyme or reason as to why they're offering you more on one account and less on the other account. I haven't figured that out. And if you're doing it with different accounts, you need different receipts. You cannot submit another receipt more than one time. You can only submit it once. So if there's toilet paper on sale, I get toilet paper on one receipt and use that for myself another receipt from my husband and claim it on his account. Now I'm going to switch over to the app and I'll show you how to go through it, a um, couple different things to watch for, and yeah, I hope you download it and enjoy it. Let me know if you've used it in the comments. Once you've downloaded your app, you go into it. Once you've signed up, it'll come up first with your offers. So like I said, these update every Thursday. So you can go through before you do your grocery shopping or just anytime. Just make sure that you kind of look through and browse. We'll just go through here. So vitamins, you can also search at the top. There's a search checkout 51. You can search for like if you're at the store already and you're like, hmm, I wonder if they have cash back. You can just quickly search for it. I like to just go through and find what I might buy that week. And then I hit the plus sign on the side there on the right and it will go into my list so that I can kind of shortlist it for the week. We are... We're a very produce heavy family, so we don't use a lot of this all the time. Like if you're using granola bars and um, crackers and all of this stuff, you would have a great time with this one. So as we go through here, I just want to point out a couple of things like this cashew bar. We use the cashew bars quite often. There's one that I like a lot. So this one here is a dollar. When you click on it here, you can do add offer and then you can get two of these. So two times you can get a dollar back on the granola bars. So what you need to make sure is that they're valid on 160 to 700 gram bars. You can claim it up to two times and it requires a barcode verification. So that means when you're claiming this, you need to have the product close by because it's going to scan the barcode to make sure you've bought the right kind. And then it'll have an about this product. So it'll say just, you know, their kind of spiel for the, um, for the company. And then a don't forget. Items must be purchased and the receipt must be uploaded between 12 a.m. August 27th, 2020 and 11.59 September the 2nd, 2020. So that will be the Wednesday. So if I buy something today, I need to make sure that it's uploaded before Wednesday night. So we're going to go back here and keep scrolling. Sunflower seeds, lots of different cereals. Again, with the cereals, you want to make sure that it's the right um, size. And this one you can claim up to two again. Um, and there's a Kellogg's bonus. So if you get two of the Kellogg's ones, you'll also get an additional dollar. So if you get any of these Kellogg's ones that are here, you'll get another dollar on top of what you are getting back. Fruit. Uh, and again, like I said, lots of new products. This Kellogg's Eggo cereal, that's new. So that would be just, if you're looking to try something, then it's not as big of a deal if you try it and don't like it because you're getting some money back granola the cauliflower tortillas i haven't found in any stores yet but i am interested in trying them this natural one here we're going to go into it says at select retailers you can see that on the front screen there so it'll tell you the size that you can get you can claim this one up to five times i don't know why on earth you would ever need five creams but you know maybe you're running a store or something i don't know 
Um, so this one says valid only at Walmart, Sobeys, IGA, Loblaws, Florentinos there. So it'll tell you. So if I bought this one at Shoppers, I'm not going to get cash back for it because it, I can't use that one. Um, this one also has a bonus. So if you get two of the approved ones, you get another dollar on top of that. Um, about the product. Yep, nothing different on that one. Um, these ones here, the yogurts, that's a great deal too. Cheese, lots of different fancy cheese, yogurt drinks. Uh, these ones I haven't tried yet, the tuna, but I would also like to try these ones. Um, it looks like it's tuna, it's got everything in it, like a little meal. Uh, this one also requires a barcode. So if you got this one, you would need to make sure that you have it handy when you're doing the cash back because you need the barcode part. Um, laundry stuff, tons of laundry stuff on here. If you are a fan, I don't really like any of the smells for laundry, so I always get unscented. But if you like the smelly type of laundry, not smelly, just, um, you know, good smelling, I guess. If you like that, like the Gain Fireworks, um, that is a great cash back option for it, $3 back. Uh, so it'll tell you the size that you need to, excludes trial and travel sizes, gifts, bonus, or value packs. And again, it has a bonus. If you buy two of them, you get more money back. Um, this one here, the Persil, is great for stain remover. I do use that one sometimes, and it's not super strong smelling. Glade, lots of different Glade candles, Glade starter kits, paper towels, fabric softener. Okay, so this one here, Baby Gannix laundry product, zero remaining. There is a certain amount of each of the products that they put on here for a cash back. So if there's, say, 100,000 of this laundry product on here and 100,000 people use it, or 100,000 claims have been made, I guess, um, then it will say zero remaining. Sometimes they will add it back in, not always. So you can't always count on that. So what I recommend is do your grocery shopping, and then when you get home and you're unpacking the groceries, just try to make a habit to do the cash back right away, just so that you can kind of forget about it. And they do sometimes send it back saying, oh, we couldn't find this on your receipt or whatever. So make sure you keep your receipt because you can argue back with them and it usually goes very quickly. So they'll say, well, we can't see where you bought this receipt or we can't see where you bought this product. And then you'll just email back saying Walmart and they'll be like, okay, and give you your money back. So keep your receipt until you know that it's been processed. All right, different pens for back to school, batteries, stain room remover who has kids and does not need stain remover right um deodorants lots of different kinds of deodorants there face cream styling product pads oh toothbrushes i do this one for the kids we have the um electric ones for the kids and they will often come back with like two to five dollars off and then i find a sale on them so it works out to almost the same price as a regular toothbrush again i try not to go out of my way to buy stuff that i wouldn't normally buy like these water picks i'm assuming these are fairly pricey if you get ten dollars back but if you were looking into getting something like that anyways it's a great time to get it this one here says not valid at shoppers Drug Mart or Pharma Pricks, so you cannot get them there. And this one also has a lot of specific information about the like model number that you can get, so valid on WP100. That one you would need to read a lot more about. Band Aids, Depends, Nicorette. Uh, these ones are great. My husband has allergies, so like when the reactant's on there, I usually try to find a sale on reactant and then do the cash back to stock up for summertime. This eye drop one here I found on clearance for $2.50 one time. And the cash back was $5, so I got paid $2.50 to take it home with me. Beer, oh yeah, they have um, at the LCBO, depending on where you are, um, the LCBO, you can get money back on liquor. Isn't that crazy? Cauliflower crust, lots of different processed food here, like the um, frozen stuff that's easy to make if you're working and need a quick meal. It's nice to have those in there. Um, again, these baby organic ones here, zero remaining, so that means that everyone has been buying those up this week. Um, flushable wipes again see it says Walmart you can only buy that one at Walmart if it says at select retailers you need to go in and you can see valid only at Walmart and Superstore miracle Grow and pet stuff so if you were looking to buy cat food or dog food this section here is usually pretty full of different types of food and then at the very bottom here they have a video you can just watch this video and get three cents into your account super easy this one here at the bottom, um, you enter in, you just hit the plus sign here, and then when you're doing your receipt, you just have that one added in and you're entered for a chance to win. The filter at the top here, you can filter through by all these different categories, by the stores. I like to just go through and look at everything that's on there just in case, have it fresh in my mind before I go grocery shopping. All right, so we've added a couple to our list, so hit my list, 
and it will shortlist all of the ones that I thought I was going to buy this week, which is really handy. Um, and then you do redeem. So for this cashy one here, I need to have the product close by. Um, now I didn't actually buy these ones. I have an old one just to show you and I have a random receipt that I can use. I'm not going to go through with it, but just as an example. So then you would just hit scan on here and have your product close by. And then you're just going to get it in there, detected, and then a check mark. And it's got two that I added in. So then I hit continue. Oh, no, back. Um, I want to enter into this thing too. So all you have to do is click on it. Then it will say, read the offer conditions to get cash back every time. So it's just telling you, make sure you've read it so that we don't have to do as much work. Um, okay, got it. And then you're just going to put your receipt in, see how it says store name logo up there. And then if it's a long receipt, you can just do two parts to it. So you're just gonna take photo, it will line it up. As long as you can see everything so it's not really blurry, they need to see the store name, the total, um, the product, the UPC code if it's on there. Yeah, as long as you have all of that stuff on there, you should be good. And then you're just gonna click finish and it will send you an email saying thanks for your receipt. And then once it's been processed, usually within like 24 to 48 hours, it'll send you another email saying it's been processed and it's either approved or not approved. And then like I said, if it's not approved, they give you the option to appeal. So if it's the wrong product, there's nothing you can do about it. But if they say, oh, we can't see it on here, sometimes you can just zoom in and you circle where it is on there if you're sure that that's where it is. And then they'll say, oh, okay, sorry, and then award your points to it. If you go into the profile, it'll have your name and your cash out total. So once that hits $20, you can hit cash out and it will send you a check to whatever address you have in there. Make sure your address is up to date before you hit cash out so that they're actually sending it to you. And then we'll have receipts pending approval. So if you have some waiting in there, it'll tell you how many are waiting in the queue. The total earned. So this is my husband's cashback app. He just started a little while ago. Um, I didn't realize you could do two accounts. He started a little while ago. We've already saved $254.31, which is pretty amazing. Trip history, it will give you all of the things you've ever bought, if they've been approved, if they weren't approved. Um, settings and preferences. And then at the bottom here, it says log out. Then you just log out and log into the other account and finish up your cash back. If you found this video helpful, give me a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Thanks so much. Have a great day.